Sorry, Kamasi. You sacrificed and gave up your life as soon as you declared war on me. You, as, as, as clever ideas go, that wasn't the cleverest. Put it that way. Right, you're going to go that way as well. My cavalry are doing... They're doing amazingly. That's, that's really good. Everyone else is levelling up. All my jet bombers. As, as they're levelling, I'm, I'm sort of keeping them still. But all the others, I'm just sort of flying down to take over some Swedish troops down on the other end. So you can see like this rebasing. I can get him all the way down to here. It's like, oh dear Sweden, you are going to regret going to war with me. Oh look, the bloody corpse. That's uh, quite the name. It'd be a shame if you got destroyed. Also, off-world mission. This is a really important one. I'm going to build lots of Lagrange and terrestrial laser stations. It's going to be fantastic. I want to increase um, city centre buildings because that's what everybody normally does. Ban the production of buildings of this type. Um, well, you know what? Coal. Yeah, I'm going to stop everyone else from getting it. World's Fair, fantastic. I and mean, then Chosen Player gets two diplomatic points. Why don't we say that, uh, who's winning this? I think it was Poundmaker, wasn't it? We'll just double check. He was winning it. Oh, look! Mansa Mooster has actually got a satellite in space. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, Poundmaker. Let's vote Poundmaker down, shall we? Poundmaker. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm not going to win any of these because I've got no points, but we'll enjoy it. Numberless. City Centre, yeah. Ban coal power point. Yes. Gain to America. Actually, I won two of those votes. Weirdly, I'm doing quite well diplomatically. That's that's strange. Very strange, but okay. Cool. Now, I'm no longer bankrupt. How are my amenities doing? Oh, good. Zero, minus one, plus six. That city is a joke. Minus one, plus two. Zero, minus one, plus two. I'm actually starting to come out the other side of this now. I've actually got some happy cities. This is good. This is really, really, really good. Also, would you please stop it? That's that's my stuff that you're pillaging, and I do not appreciate that at all. Uh, in fact, this city-state... Oh, you level up quickly. Don't mind me. Right, you just go there. Make your attack. And the city-state's mine as well. I am just unifying this continent delightfully. Also, I may have put five different bombers within range of all these Swedish forces. So, um, if you don't mind me, Sweden, politely get the hell out of my town. You too, Mali. Your army corps. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. I have jet bombers. Just, just turn back. Turn back now. It's actually quite handy because I'm getting a lot of gold. And a lot of era score. 36, that's like enough to keep my like half of my empire sustained this turn. Pretty cool that. Off-world mission, great. Future tech, plus 5% production bonus towards all my city projects, including the uh, space projects. It's all good. It's all good. Actually, where is oh, Pingala can go now? You can go back into the city. You're taking ages, but that's fine. Uh, let's quickly just rush this. There's the Mars colony. Fantastic. Uh, where is the next project? Oh, I can't remember which one that is. Is that the off-world one? Exoplanet Expedition. There we go. We see how many builders are ready here just to, to improve this. It's an amazing thing to do. Always stack up your builders. Uh, Counter Spy. Yes. Uh, you need to go to the Theatre Square. Good. That's a good split. I've got one here, one here. I really should get one on the rocketry site, thinking about it, but you know. There's 101 things to do. Oh, sea studs. Oh, I forget how cool they are. Extra two housing. Late game stuff, man. It's so powerful. Look, please stop killing my governors. Now it's Magnus's turn to get killed. Ah, oh, honestly, do you not know that I just, just, it, it's so, it's so annoying. It doesn't even do anything. Oh, keep city. Cool. I just flipped the city without even realizing it existed. I mean, that's quite entertaining. Um, Sweden, why have you got a navy off my coast? And why would you do that? Because clearly, this isn't going to work for you. Also, look, how did you get your army through here? Oh, so annoying. Please stop it. Please just, just go away. Sweden's troops are actually much more resistant to attack than, uh, than Mali's troops. 
I mean, not that it's doing anything because they can't shoot me down, so it's totally like inconsequential, but still, it's quite interesting that. I wonder why that's so different. Oh, hello. A thermonuclear device? Well, I don't mind if I do. Nice to meet you. Build me another one. I, uh, I may have something there that I can do. Oh my god, a jet bomb! I can just drop it. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know what? You know what? I'm, I might treat myself. I might treat myself. Where is a where is a perfectly content and unused jet bomber? You know what? There's one here. I think I might get you to thermonuclear strike. Let's let's think about this, shall we? Where where could get down? I could get two cities down there, or I could get their capital. Mmm. Oh, it's tempting. Oh, it's oh no, that includes their capital. If I were to drop it here, I would get two cities. You know what? I think I might. Treat me. Now, will it get shut down? I'm pretty sure they don't have air defences, but we'll find this out sooner rather than later. No, they don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, that's two cities gone. I'm sorry, Marley. Uh, do you want to re rethink about whether or not you want to be fighting me right now? Because I, I'm... I'm I'm a bit fed up. I'd rather you didn't. So first of all, please get out of my land. That's just not exciting. Oh, whoa. Did you actually get attacked? Are they actually attacking you? I feel like they are on the cusp of getting air defences. Like, they're not quite there, but I'm seeing some graphics now which indicate that they are getting destroyed. Um, why don't you... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to keep getting keep getting me hits when I can. I don't know why I can't attack those boats. It's a little bit annoying. Never mind. Well then, to the atomic area. Are you really that behind, world? Wow. I mean, I know I'm in 1780, but still, this feels like you guys are quite behind. Let's just... I'm going to just go to synthetic technocracy. It's a tongue twister, that. Can't quite get my... Get my... Uh, get myself around that one sports media here we go five year plan it's all it's all good so what am i going to do with all of these extra slots well i think um e-commerce from all trade routes would give me a load of extra money that's quite a fun one i think the communism one has disappeared now unfortunately so i can't get the internal routes boost which which is pointless but still is quite fun but i can get medina quarter it gives extra two housing that's quite funny Let's do that in my in just to, in order to get my capital huge. Public works is a really good one as well. Resource management, that's more stuff like, uh, what do you call it? Aluminium and oil. Let's do that one. Why not? I'm a native conquest. I like native conquest. Gives me the extra gold I need to, to thrive. Oh, look, I've now got 15 gold per turn coming in. I'm no longer losing money. Oh, you guys are on in dark ages and I'm in a golden age. <laughs> I think to arms is still the best one. Although, Canvas District Science Adjacency gives production. You know, I'm going to treat myself to that. I'm not going to go to war with anyone else realistically. I've only got two turns until this is finished and then actually no one turn until that's finished. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going along quite nicely. I'm rushing this at double speed at the moment and the capital's still growing. Look at that. I've got 153 surplus food. That is mental. Have you guys ever had anything that high? I challenge you to find a city with that that much stuff. Look, they could be attacking my aircraft at the station. I did realise this a bit too late. But they're not coming anywhere near it at the moment, which is a little bit a little bit strange. Hit the privateer. Sorry, Sweden. Now I need 50 points to get into a normal age. Should we see how fast I can do that with all of my bombers bombing cores? Hint. It's going to be quite fast. I don't like the fact that it keeps showing Babylon as a target. I don't want to bomb Babylon. They're my friends. What part of that do you not realise? Like, that's not enemies. No. Bad AI. These guys. Those are the guys I want to take. And stop showing me all of the... I, I don't need to see that I was outnumbered every single time you kill an enemy. Look. I, I know. I know. You've shown me, like, loads of times. Like, my bombers are powerful. I get that. It doesn't matter if there are hundreds of units below because my bombers are dropping big bombs. Don't need to keep telling me every single time. And some ministers kind of fallen behind a little bit now. They haven't researched satellites. 
which isn't very good. Nobody else has built, and actually no, Coupe has built a, uh, a spaceport as well. There's the exoplanet uh, submission, what's it called, exoplanet oh, satellite? What have I just done? I've no idea what that's called, but I've got this up and running, so I have done zero out of 25 light years, 25 turns until I win, unless I boost it. Am I going to boost it? Well, hint, yes. Yes, I am. So this one uh, requires 30 aluminium to do, and that gives me plus one light year. So I'm going to do that first. It's a great thing to do. Um, I can boost that immediately. It doesn't actually do much, unfortunately, but I'll boost it. Uh, as long as I've got 30 aluminium, I'll do that one. Otherwise, the other one just requires five power to do, and I've got, well, as much coal as I need to burn at the moment, so that's fine. Because don't forget, every single one of my cities produces three uh, power now because of my government. So I've got loads and loads of spare electricity. Gee, look at this. My amenities are fixed. Two, 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 one, one, nine, six, five, one, two, six, three, two, six. Everything is happy now. Oh, it takes so long at that sort of middle stage of the game to sort itself out. But once it does, once it does sort itself out, it is wonderful. What other troops are you guys throwing at me this time around? Have you given up? It's almost like you can't actually produce troops quick enough to be attacking me. Sad that, isn't it? My jet bombers physically can't upgrade enough as well. They are they are at max capacity upgrading. Uh-oh. That seems like an ill-timed around my my bombers. I think my bombers are alright actually. I've I've done a laser station while I'm faffing around with all of that. Oh, did I just lose two bomber units. I think I might have done. Did they just displace themselves to other cities around? I hope they did. If not, I just lost two bombers in a catastrophic explosion. Um, there you go. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Don't leave bombers around, uh, around volcanoes. I feel like people shouldn't have needed to have told me that one. More laser stations, keep them coming. I don't know why I'm bothering to use the builders because it's really not doing too much at the moment, but you can see my 200 production. It's a good old city, that one. Oh no, the slingers that have been here for years have detected the incursion of a, of a, a Maori anti-tank. That's actually quite, quite, quite dangerous. I should probably do something about that one. Jet bomber, will you do the honors, please? Oh, thank you very much. You see, hilariously, I'm actually fourth in tourism, even though I haven't been doing anything about it whatsoever. It's it's pretty pretty good, to be fair. I mean, those, those, those bombers really have just disappeared off the face of the earth, so I have no idea what happened to those ones. I'm just assuming they are gone now. There's nothing for me. Uh, I'm just going to take this city out of just sort of recompense. I don't even know. Keep the city. You know what? Yeah, just keep get, get lost. Get lost. I'm clearly, I've clearly won the game. Just, just hold back. Let me win. Lie down. Enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. I'm just still building laser stations. You know, that's what I do with my time. Ooh, Sweden may have actually finally started to build ships with actual protection against air attacks. I'm actually going to lose a little bit of health from that attack. That's, that's exceptional. Well done, Sweden. I'm genuinely quite proud of you there. I mean, it's not going to do you very well, because my units are still, like, utterly superior to yours, but still, it shows enthusiasm, and that's what I enjoy. You can stick your tongue out at me all you want, but yes, I will take your piece because you're giving me tons of stuff, including gold. I never was at war with you, Mari. No, no, not at you. Not at you at all. Um, no, no pound maker. I, I was having a point. What I really need, no, 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 Sweden, no. No, I have a gift for you. I have a, I have a lovely gift from you, from Vastiras. Um, you know what, Marley, yes, you can have peace. I will give you the peace that you so desire. I will drain all of you of all of your money. But Sweden, Sweden, I have one gift for you, one parting volley, one extra special, just little treat that should get us as we need it to. So, um, let's have a look, shall we? Thermonuclear drop. Oh, there's a, I think this, this point there would get three of their cities, including their capital. Um, you know what? Why don't we do that? Proceed. 
Let's see how Sweden's anti-air deals with the situation, shall we? Let's see if Sweden have any anti-air. Flying directly blind, can't see what's going on. Nope. Nope. Nothing to do. That's a shame, isn't it? So, um, there's a lesson here, Sweden. If you go to war with me, I will utterly annihilate your cities. Fancy peace? Fancy peace? I bet you fancy peace now. That's better. Guys, why did I make peace with everyone? Now I'm really bored. I've got all these bombers and nowhere to bomb. Ugh. Sucks. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so rubbish. Also, I have to say, I, I just, I, oh, that was my favourite nuke. That honestly was my favourite nuke. I, I can't even see the destruction. It's like the game's my own interior propaganda ministry, right? It's been like, nope, nope, you don't need to see anything that's going on in here. Fog of war, fog of war, we're at peace now. It's all good, you don't need to. This is all nuclear desolation. All of these wonders, aqueducts, like commercial hubs, everything in here is now just a huge pit of death and despair and like I'm like nope nope whatever I mean they do have uranium which is a little bit of a problem we're just gonna glass over that one and say nope nope that's clearly fine clearly we're not gonna have any issues there I mean I could go to war with America but America are always like really annoying on the old continent thing was the, where does their original continent stop where does it start again oh it's all on one so they're all on their own continent look at that Ridiculous. They've actually, they've settled right up to the edge of this continent and then no further. No further. Which means they're going to have their bonus on absolutely everything. The Cree, I'm just ages away, I can't even get to them. The Maori have settled like everywhere except from where they're supposed to. I love this. I mean, this is my favourite, right? Okay, they're down here. They're down here. They've settled all the way in this area, which is, which is amazingly cool. They've missed out all of these islands. Every single one of these islands has totally been messed out on, and then they settled up in the frozen north up here. Why? Deity, stop it. You had so many places you could settle, like, honestly. I'm just, I'm just, just mystified as to what's going on here. Absolutely mystified. I want to build more nuclear devices. I don't have enough nuclear material. Isn't that sad, eh? What do I do? What do I do in this situation? Make more bombers. I think that's going to be the only thing I can do, really. I absolutely love the fact that all I'm doing in this tiny little lake, Lake Trasimir, just build a bubble on it. An absolute bubble. I mean, look at it, it's a five food bubble and everything. I love late game housing, it's amazing. Like 20 housing now. No, no, this city clearly needs it. What are you doing? Like, that's clearly the one that needs all that housing. Why did you not put it there? They said, look, look, there we go. Look at all that growth. You div. I never get why it does certain things like that. You just have to micromanage so much because the games like natural AI can be really off market sometimes. A gentle eruption, a soft massaging eruption. Memphis is just like, mmm. What little, what little like lava we have trickles down our backs in the most warming of embraces. I mean, people may have died quite badly there, but it's fine. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, we are on phase five. Whoa. Oh dear, we don't talk about phase five. <laughs> phase five is not good for us. Um, I'm still building terrestrial laser stations, to be quite frank. This is, I mean, this game is so clearly won by now. I mean, what are we up to now? If I look at the science victory, I've got 10 light years uh, and I'm doing five per turn. So, you know, yeah. All I'm hearing is rock bands. Just everything about it is rock bands, but you're not getting anywhere. You're clearly... I mean, look, you're not going to get anywhere near my culture. I am I am doing well on the old culture, and I haven't even bothered with culture this game. It's just purely, like, big entity reasoning here. Still building terrestrial laser stations. The power in this city must be absolutely mad right now. Let's have a look. What power do I need? 21 needed, 15 for laser stations. It's just... I'm just burning through coal. Imagine this entire city is just one huge coal plant going... <laughs> Massively amazing. Um, anything that gives housing, I'm just... It, it is amusing to see how big I can get this city now. I mean, look, look I don't need any of these tiles anymore. Because the trader routes I've got coming in are, are just mad. I mean, look at this 13 food. Don't mind if I do. 
Still got an excess of two, 200 food. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, I've got a new thermo. I've got a new thermo nuclear device. <laughs> oh man. Who am I going to drop this on? Who am I going to drop this on? Also, how about this? For plus 10 amenities on a city. You ever seen as many as that? Plus 10? No? No? 10 from entertainment? <laughs> I love it. It's just the most pointless city, but it's great. It's like, cool, yeah, whatever. Build a sewer. You don't even need a sewer. Not that I'm really boring, but um, I am going to send some music ship. Music ship? Send some music ship? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, get lost, rock bands. I'm, I'm annoyed of listening to your music in my empire. It's not, it's, it's, it's just, it's just boring. Build me more laser stations! Laser stations! What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Here? Here? There? Oh. Just to like, one final screw you to Rome. Oh, and to Candy? And to Candy. Are they even my friend? Do I even care about Candy? No, I don't even care about Candy. Don't even care about them. I think, uh, you know. Just one final screw you. Oh, it's so glorious. Look at it. Oh, it's just that final flame wave that hits afterwards. Oh. Oh. Nothing says, Ryan, you've been a bit ill the last few days. Make yourself feel better than the nuclear bombing of Antium and Brudisium. I feel like a new man. Much well, this was about as surprising as anything. You know what? I'm actually, I'm glad that I won a regular Dirty game pretty easily. This is quite a... <sighs> Not that I felt bad after the Brazil game, but I definitely felt like my, I was a little rusty. But no, Dirty is still easy as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you focus on the science early enough. Plus also Incans on a, like, what's it called? That map. The, the, the volcano we map. Primordial map, that's the one. Incans on Primordial. Give it a go. It is the most fun you could ever have on a map. Like, it is so hilariously fun. I would honestly just recommend everybody does it. It's beautiful fun. But, yeah, I mean, let's have a look at the rankings. I've even got fourth. Look at that. Deity. Gives you way more points, I think. What did I get? A Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, buildings constructed. Let's have a look at my science. Science is probably the best indication of whether or not I was like a head player science. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Even from turn like 50, I was beginning to accelerate through science. That's that's amazing. And score. Score, I was never doing like too well. Era score. No, it's era score, isn't it? No, 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 Player score. Here we go. So actually, look, it wasn't until two thirds into the game when I actually started to take all the cities from Rome. I was never actually in charge of the lead. So it's not all, it wasn't all that good. There we go. So, the terrestrial laser station, it's all done. I don't know why there's a rocket launching from a terrestrial laser station, but, but that's fine. I, I mean, I quite clearly had won. I could have taken my rampaging army and, and attacked other people, but this was a science game. 960 science, it's not that good. It's not that bad. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It was really good fun. It was a really nice, like, let your hair down moment. Enjoy everything. And I'm looking forward to getting cracked into the next game as soon as possible. So until then, see you next time. Bye!